Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed, and today I'm going to show you some fun new paintables. These are from Adornit. These are so cute. This is the 2019 release of all the wonderful paintables from Adornit. So I'm going to show you a couple of really cute designs. Look at these. This is the same two papers. The back side is plain, which means you're not going to worry about having to bleed through and you're messing up another thing. And it is on a really high quality paper that is perfect for coloring and watercoloring, just for any kind of coloring, whatever medium you want. You can watercolor it, you can brush marker it, you can Copic marker it. I mean, I've done just about everything. Uh, matte pencils or colored pencils, all of it works great. But look how cute these are. These are ones that are seasons. If you look, so here's like a summer mermaid one, but then obviously this one looks a little bit more Christmassy. Just so cute. All right, so I got a couple of those. This one's all about flamingos. Look how adorable these are. So, so cute. And these all have different people who have kind of, so these ones all look, actually, these all look like they're done. Nope. So we have different people. We have Lindsay Ostrom, Anne Corbier Scott, Caroline McMullen, Nola Chandler. So different people have designed the different pages, but they are all so stinking adorable. These, these are so cute. At the very end of this video, I'm going to show you a couple of examples. Oh, I got three of those. A couple of examples of what you can do with some of these papers um, in a card. And not these exact ones, but some of the previous ones I've gotten before. So just to kind of give you a little inspiration. I actually got three of every single design here. So I'm just going to show you the top one here. So look how cute. These ones all look like they're very beachy, very mosaic-y kind of thing. Like things are lined up that are so sinking cute. Look at these fun ones. You are enough. I love that. I love ones that kind of inspire you and make you feel really good. And look how adorable these ones are. Super cute. These are our like farmland creatures. We have bears, we have foxes, we have owls, we have reindeer. Oh, so cute. Look at them all. Hello. Life's an adventure. Yeah, this could definitely go really Christmassy right here. So it's kind of a little bit of everything. It looks like it could go. So here's another kind of Christmassy looking one. But again, this doesn't have to be Christmas. It could just be woodland, which I think is so much fun. All right, so here are some bigger ones here. No place like home, home sweet home, hello, love. Truly do love them, they're adorable. And you can do a lot with these. You could cut out one of these and it would be a really cool like background piece that you could color and then embellish it and it could almost be like a little home decor piece. So really sweet on those ones. Now look at these, these are so adorable. They're all these cute dogs and cats. And it looks like some of them are like in background. Like it could be a snow background or just kind of cute. Little roses, little hearts. I love it. This one's like a little birthday. This one's in a mug. <laughs> and it says, hey there, happy birthday. I'm a little behind to celebrate. Thanks, thanks a lot. So you got some little titles here that you could cut out. It's perfect for cards. So you're probably going to see me using some of these in the future. All right, so here's another one. These have, most of these are going sideways. But there's a couple that are going front ways. So that's kind of cool. So we have a whole bunch be good, be a good human. Well, of course you can. It's easy to be kind. Uh, sweet friendships refreshes the soul. Truly. Hello, darling. Share a smile with the world. Happiness is always in style. I love the big bold script on these and just so easy to kind of color them in. Very, very cute. All right. So there's three of those. Get those out of the way. All right. So here's a whole bunch of them about bees. Be happy. Just because. Lots of cool. Play harder. Stay bumble. Ha ha ha. Love that. <laughs> be silly, be honest, be kind, be yourself. Great stuff. Let it be. <laughs> so cute. All right, so here's another one. It's all about sunshine and happiness. Be the rainbow on someone else's clouds. I love that. Uh, create your own sunshine. Oh gosh, what else we have? There's a ha um, miracles happen after the storm. Rain is just your confetti from the sky. That is so cute. I love that. I love all these ones that have these amazing sayings because sometimes we need to hear it, you know, and if you hear it enough, you start thinking that way too, which is great. You know, it was funny. Somebody made a post the other day um, on Facebook and I was reading it and she said something about how a smile is contagious. And I said, I totally think so. Oh, this is the same one that we saw from the very, very beginning, which was all the girls. So I'm going to put that back with that one. And so you know what? I always make it my goal. So as we were traveling or when I'm in a car, I'm in a grocery store, I'm walking into some place, 
Every person I make eye contact with, I smile to. Now, if I don't make eye contact with them, I still try and smile, but sometimes I may not even see everybody in the face. Or if I'm standing in line, I'll strike up a conversation with somebody who's around me, especially if everybody seems kind of grumbly, like when you're waiting in line at the airport or, you know, like in line at the grocery store. I'll smile and I'll just make a comment, just a nice comment. It could be about something in their basket. It could be something that they're wearing. It could be whatever. But my whole goal is to get somebody to smile, make somebody a little bit happier, you know, be the... Wherever I am, I'd rather people be happy than be grumbly. <laughs> so that's just kind of my little my little vote in life. So I smile. Even in the car, if I catch people as I'm driving by in the car, if they're in other cars, and if I can see their face, that means they can see my face. That's how I look at it. So if I can see them smiling and see if they can smile, it means they can see me smile. So it's my goal to make people smile. That is my my, my daily achievement, to make as many people smile as possible. All right, so here we go. Off topic here. The heart of a hippie, the spirit of a gypsy, the soul of a mermaid. Oh, this is all mermaid stuff. You're amazing. You're killing it, girl. You're magical. I love that. You're killing it, girl. Seize the day. Ha, ha, ha. Seize the day. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. <laughs> Get by a little help with your friends. I love it. And her friend is like a little jellyfish. Let the sea set you free. Oh, gosh. This ocean is so magical. I, I definitely feel like I have a connection with the ocean. And, of course, I live, you know, smack in the middle of Nowhereville in terms of ocean, Austin. Great place to live, just no ocean nearby. I gotta drive a little bit. All right, and the last set of papers, these ones are all happy place. These are all about traveling. It looks like lots of glampers. So cute. No, I'm not a glamper girl, but I think they're so adorable. Not all wander who are lost. Give your soul, oh, give your time, soul to rest. I do love camping though. I like camping with like tents and stuff. So I'm definitely like an outdoorsy kind of girl, and I love getting out and camping. Happy camper, life's a dream. That's cute. I love that one. So lots of really, really cute, cute little, and every page has got so many. And as a heads up, these will be linked down below as many as I can, or it'll just be a link to the Adornit page so you guys can go find them. So I was showing you guys, or I was telling you guys that there are some possibilities for what you can do. Now this one had a larger section, so I did pick some larger sections. So this piece in here and this front piece, it's a little bit bigger. So they actually fit two this way and it was a set of three but it's the same concept you could do a smaller card instead of having a big card that fit up the whole page you could take some of these smaller ones and just do a couple of mats and it could fill up the card as well but this was a cool kind of gatefold card or like a little pocket window card that i made where i put one on the inside and one on the outside and these all came from the same paper so this all came from the same principal sheet that i think gave me six total and i was able to make two cards out of that so you can color them, and these are using brush markers that I have. Um, it's a nice big set. It's got like 96, so I can do lots of different colorings and stuff. But I absolutely love those. And so I had a ton of fun. So, oh, my gosh, take a look. You guys know I'm going to be using these. I'm going to be playing with them a lot in my upcoming Wednesday card making. Some of them are going to be live. Some of them are recorded. You guys know I'm going in for surgery. And this is probably going live while I am in recovery. So... These will be coming. Don't worry. They're super cute. And if I don't use them before Christmas, because I'll definitely be getting into a lot of Christmas cards, I will be using it come the new year. Thanks so much, everybody, for stopping by and checking out my video. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button for further notifications of videos from me. And I will see you guys again soon. Bye-bye, everybody.